Hi everyone and thank you for joining us on today's webinar. I'm Louise Bennett, Tigers Marketing Manager and I'm joined by Liam Woods who is one of our Business Development Managers. Um, so for those of you who don't know a lot about Tiger, we're specialists in data analytics for unified communications and collaboration solutions. And we're going to use today's session to show you how our technology can help you get more meaning from your unified communications data. Um, so we're also happy to take questions. So either call those out or add them to the chat as we go through and there'll be time at the end to run through those as well. Um, so I'm now going to pass over to Liam, who's going to give us some more information about how we're helping organisations get meaning from their unified comms data. And he's also going to show us the software in action. So over to you, Liam. Brilliant. Thanks, Louise. Uh, good morning, everyone. So today I'm going to be giving you an overview of Tiger Prism uh, just to help you understand um, how we can actually help you understand your unified communications data and use it to actually make better business decisions. So I'm going to summarize some of the common challenges that we're actually seeing in the market at the moment, and then give you a demonstration of how our solution, Tiger Prism, can not only help you overcome some of the challenges that you're experiencing, but actually give you the tools to um, you know, be ahead of the curve and actually use your UCNC data to drive positive change, um, such as increasing operational efficiency, saving cost or improving customer service. So as we said, if you've got any questions, um, please write them in the message box and I'll, I'll try and answer them uh, as quickly as I can. But I think we've got some time allocated at the end of the call uh, to do a bit of a Q&A so um, we can get to your questions there. So why Tiger? Well, Tiger is an organization which is focused on uh, data analytics, and we've got a specific focus on unified communications and collaboration data. So really our, our mission is to help customers make sense of their data and ultimately use it to make better decisions. So. We're focused on helping our customers overcome a number of challenges. And some of the challenges that we're seeing in the market at the moment are around um, areas such as poor customer service and user experience. So um, I'm working with a number of organizations who have had challenges around um, customer calls not being answered or, or not connected, calls being transferred to unused extensions, um, users being bombarded with high volumes of calls and just challenges around understanding call routing and actually call quality as well. Uh, some other challenges we've seen in the market are around not actually having a single view of your communications uh, estate and data. So you know, as we know in the past 18 months, the way people are communicating uh, has changed. So it, it's a bit of a challenge at the moment for organizations to have their telephony um, reporting and you know platforms such as Microsoft Teams reporting in in a single place and you know what we're finding is organizations actually spending a lot of time um, trying to collate reports and that really brings me on to challenges around measuring adoption of new uh, technology um, and communication platforms such as Microsoft Teams so um, we're, we're seeing a number of short shortcomings with regard to native reporting from these platforms. So the Microsoft Admin Center, um, we're, we're seeing that it's quite difficult to track how people are actually using the technology, what sort of modality, devices, etc. And then finally, one of the other main challenges we're seeing in the market at the moment is around compliance and actually detecting uh, fraudulent activity over the communication platform. So this is really around um, challenges with data retention for uh, security and regulatory purposes and actually understanding when fraudulent communications are coming into the organization or even um, going out of the, the organization as well. So um, during the demonstration today, I'm just going to touch on how a tiger can actually address those challenges. So one of the ways we, we start to 
um, help with these challenges is is the fact that we're vendor agnostic as an organization. So what that means is we actually integrate with uh, some of the most common UCNC platforms in use at the moment. So that's everything from your traditional telephony platforms such as Mitel, Cisco, Avaya, uh, right through to some of the more um, up-to-date uh, communication platforms such as Microsoft Teams. So we're able to integrate with all that complex data and take it in in various different formats from a lot of different locations. But then what we do to actually make sense of that data and contextualize it is actually integrate with an organization's active directory as well. So that really brings that data to life and uh, ultimately gives organizations an intuitive uh, analytics solution to help them make better decisions. So what I'm going to do now is just give you a quick overview of Tiger Prism and just bring to life some of my favorite parts of the platform. So bear with me while I share my screen. So you should be able to see Tiger Prism now. Louise, can you see that? Yeah. Fantastic. So I'm going to start off by just going into the telephony part of the system. So what you're seeing here is our solution, uh, Tiger Prism. And as you can see, I've got a number of different modules depending on what sort of unified communications I have and, and what data I've got feeding into Tiger Prism. So um, I'm just going to go into telephony and go into dashboards. So in Tiger Prism, we have dashboards which are really designed to be a quick way to get the key information uh, at any time without the need to potentially you know, go and go and pull off reports or um, you know configure analytics. So this is sort of standardized information which you want to really um, access as uh, as often as possible, really. So. This is the team performance dashboard. And this is really one of my favorite dashboards in the system because of the simplicity of, of the way it's presented, but the actual data that is contained within it. So what this is showing me is all the incoming and outgoing calls um, that, that Tiger has. So what you're seeing here is actually Tiger's real data. So we actually speak to a lot of organizations who are using various different um, methods of communicating. So, you know, mobile, uh, traditional telephony, and then potentially Microsoft Teams as well. What we're finding is some customers are actually having to wait up to five weeks for um, consolidated reporting to be sent out to them. Um, and that's purely because they're having to go in and out of a lot of different platforms and trying to match up different date ranges and report formats to try and get a sense of what's going on um, in their organization. Where Tiger really brings some benefit is by being able to, as I said, um, be vendor agnostic and actually integrate with all those different platforms and then provide some context around, you know, the, 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 the departments within an organization. So. I can actually click up here in this dashboard and really quickly select uh, a data source. So as I said, this is Tiger's real information. So at our head office, we've actually got a Cisco call manager. We then have all our business mobiles with O2. And then we've also got our Microsoft um, Graph API. So we actually can make uh, PSTN calls from uh, our Teams client on our laptops. And, and you know what's really powerful is this dashboard is actually showing all that information um, in a single report. So this dashboard can be really powerful for organizations which are looking to track things like um, customer service KPIs. Um, I speak to quite a few financial services organizations who use this dashboard as a, as a way of actually tracking things like uh, traders to make sure that they're um, you know, picking up the phone as well as making the, the correct amount of outbound calls. So there really is a, a huge amount of potential with this report, you know, depending on what your requirements are. And Liam, can I just interject with a quick question? Um, we're often asked who has access to TIG Prism once it's been implemented. So can you just expand on that a little bit more, please? Yeah, absolutely. So 
one of the great benefits of Tiger Prism is the fact that we do have that directory in integration. So what that means is we're not just showing this analytics and um, this information to the, you know, to the management of an organization or the uh, analytics team. What we're actually able to do is configure different access for different users, depending on who they are and what they'd like to see. So if we go back to that financial services example, um, if you are a head of a number of traders, you're their team leader and you're looking to make sure that they're um, hitting their KPIs in terms of outbound calls and also picking up inbound calls as well, um, you can actually only see your team and we can restrict that to make sure that you're not seeing data which doesn't mean anything to you. On the flip side, if you are a uh, head of customer services for an organization, customer services director, you can have access to the whole organization and see a, uh, a picture of how the whole organization is operating. So as you can see here, I'm actually seeing different users in this dashboard, but what I can do quite easily is actually go in, just select the whole organization, confirm that, and then I'm actually seeing all the departments within Tiger and seeing how they're answering the phone in a matter of seconds. Does that help, Louise? Yeah, that's great. Fantastic. So I'm just going to go into another dashboard in telephony. So this is another one of my favorites because this is a really interesting dashboard. So what this is showing me is channel utilization. So what you can actually do with Tiger Prism is tell the system what channel groups you have and how many lines you've got allocated to each channel group. So what that means is you can actually see what your maximum capacity is at any one time. So we can see at Tiger, this first channel group, we've got 50 channels available but we can see our concurrent maximum is only 27 at any point. So our maximum capacity is only 54%. So that's great. So, you know, as a, um, you know, a business leader that tells me that people are actually able to contact the organization. They're not waiting on hold. Their calls aren't dropping out. Um, we're able to, um, you know, to help those customers. So if you're an organization where, you know, you're relying on inbound phone calls to be, um, creating business, then you know that that's a great thing to be able to understand. However, if we look at the second channel group, we can see that we've only got one channel available, and our concurrent maximum is actually 22. So we're actually at 2,000% capacity, which means um, customers aren't able to contact us, their calls aren't being connected, and we're potentially uh, you know losing business or. Um, you know, not being able to uh, help our customers. So what, what, what I'm actually able to do is say, right, I've got some, some channels here which aren't actually being utilized. So I can move those down to this channel group and without having to spend any additional cost on provisioning new channels, I'm able to make sure that, you know, we're, we're giving good customer service across the board. Um, I was actually working with a healthcare customer recently and by implementing this dashboard they actually found that 30 percent of their SIP channels had never actually taken a call so they're actually able to reprovision those um, those SIP channels in a different area uh, of the organization to actually help um, you know care for care for patients um, in, in a better way so really powerful dashboard um, yeah absolutely Really powerful. And you mentioned earlier um, a few different data points, and one of those was Microsoft Teams. So what's the difference between native Teams reporting and Tiger's analytics capabilities with Microsoft Teams? Yep. Great question, Louise. That's, that's where I was going next, but uh, it's, a, it's a really valid point. So as you can see, we've got our telephony module, which we were just looking at. So that's your Cisco, Avaya, Mitel, et cetera, et cetera. But then what we've done at Tiger is actually integrate directly with, with Microsoft Teams. So we do that via the Graph API. And there actually are a few, well, there, there's, a, there's quite a few uh, benefits of actually having your Microsoft Teams data feeding into Tiger Prism. 
So I'm just going to go into user activity dashboard and we can just bring that to life. So what you're seeing here is, uh, again, a, a very intuitive dashboard, which is showing me how Tiger as a whole organization is actually using Microsoft Teams. So one of the main benefits of having Microsoft Teams information feeding into Tiger Prism is the context that we're able to give. So at the moment with the native reporting from Microsoft, you're not able to get uh, Active Directory or any sort of other directory integration into the communications data. So what that means is you've got all this information and you're not really able to make sense of it in a very easy way. So what we've done with Tiger Prism, as we as we you know do with the telephony side of things, is actually bring in that that context, that meaning, and you know you can actually use that um, that context to actually understand things like how Teams is being adopted, um, how comfortable people are with using the different types of modality within the system, whether people are making use of um, potentially more expensive licensing SKUs, which you've allocated. So there really is a, a lot of potential of that uh, directory integration. Another way we add benefits uh, over the native reporting from Microsoft um, is actually in the date ranges that you're able to report on in Tiger Prism. So if you're familiar with Microsoft uh, reporting, you'll know that the date ranges are, are quite fixed at the moment. So it's things like you're able to report in the last seven days, 30 days, et cetera. What that means is if you're looking to get some really targeted reporting and really go in and find a specific event or uh, look at a specific day, that means you've got to spend time potentially exporting the data from the admin center, manipulating it in Excel or in, a, or, in a, or in another platform. What we're able to do in Prism is quite simply just give you uh, whatever sort of date ranges you'd like to report on. So. Again, it's just making it really easy and intuitive to get the information that you're looking for. And finally, with regard to the, the dates, it's worth noting that in Tiger Prism, um, we actually retain the data um, indefinitely. So this is a benefit over the native reporting from Microsoft because um, call logs in Microsoft at the moment are only held for 30 days. So we work with a number of organizations, you know, highly regulated organizations who uh, are mandated by you know, regulatory bodies to retain call logs for um, a minimum of 12 months. That's a bit of a challenge in Microsoft at the moment, but what we're able to do with uh, Tiger Prism is, you know, retain that data indefinitely, which means that, you know, compliance, you know, you've got peace of mind that the data is always going to be there and it's always going to be secure and available. So I'm just going to go into another dashboard in the Teams module, one moment. So this is the adoption dashboard uh, in, our, in our Teams module. And this is a favorite of mine because it's a great way of actually understanding how Teams as a technology is being adopted by an organization. So what we're seeing are a huge number of organizations rapidly rolling out Microsoft Teams uh, at an enterprise level. So what is really key for them is to actually understand um, on a department by department basis or user by user basis, how that technology is being rolled out to make sure that um, they're actually able to communicate effectively, they're getting value for money, and users are, are comfortable with the technology that's being rolled out to them. So we have a number of ways of doing this in Tiger Prism, but a great way of just showing that quickly uh, is this dashboard. So you can see we've got gray bars here. The gray bar is actually showing me the total number of licensed Microsoft users at any one point. So I'm actually reporting on January 2021, and this is Tiger's real data. So we can see that on the 27th of January, I had 50 people who were licensed for um, Microsoft Teams, but only one of them uh, on that day made a Teams message. So uh, in Teams, obviously, you can have your 
your um, your team are where I'm saying teams a lot um, and you can send a message into that. So only one person did that on the 27th of January this year at Tiger. Um, if we go over to private messages, as expected, a lot more people are using private messaging. So out of the, the 50 licensed users, 41 people uh, sent a private message on the 27th of January. And then we can go through to see calls. So this is like peer-to-peer -peer calls, everything but PSTN. So we can see that 37 people made a call and we can see the same with meetings. So this is a great way of actually making sure that people are comfortable with the technology, the technology is being utilized. So, you know, if you saw quite high orange bars on all of these, apart from calls, you maybe would want to check that people are comfortable with actually using that part of the system. It's worth noting just before we move on that we have a huge amount of dashboards around um, the all the communications within Teams excluding PSTN and direct routing. But um, what we have done is actually create some dedicated dashboards which do just focus on the PSTN direct routing side of things. So um, essentially we've replicated the dashboards from the telephony side of the platform. And again, we've got things like income performance and this is a really critical um, dashboard, especially in the Microsoft world, because this information is, is really tricky to get out of the admin center um, at the moment. So I'm just going to go quickly to the analytics part of the Teams integration, because um, this is really where you can start to interrogate the data coming from Microsoft and really try to spot some um, specific trends and types of communications. So what is really quite a challenge in Microsoft at the moment in terms of the native reporting is actually being able to go in and identify a specific call, a specific type of communication. So um, let's say you have a neg negative uh, customer complaint. Well, you're able to actually go in uh, look at that communication and actually understand, did Joe Bloggs hang up on the customer or did the customer hang up on Joe Bloggs um, or did the call you know, drop out for another reason? We can absolutely help with that. Uh, another way we can actually go into the analytics of, of Microsoft Teams is around you know, understanding things like group calls. So um, what I'm doing here, I'll just go sort out the dates one moment. So we're actually able to um, understand group calls. So I've just thrown together a really quick uh, query in the analytics. So I'm looking at my colleague, uh, Caroline, to see all the uh, group calls that she has scheduled in, in any period. Uh, and then I want to see all the calls which have had more than 20 uh, attendees. So this is really powerful if you're rolling out blended working. So we're actually working with a number of um, universities who are rolling out blended working to, you know, to um, you know, help their staff get back into uh, the office uh, increasingly more. So this is really important to actually understand if there's a group call, are people attending it or not? Uh, again, with universities, we're finding that blended learning uh, is something that's being rolled out increasingly more. So, you know, if you have a, a lecture or a seminar being run over Microsoft Teams, how do you know if students are just, you know, going into the, the, the team's call at the start and then maybe uh, logging off straight away just to make sure that they've ticked the box. I'm not saying students would do that. Um, you know, <laughs> this is all hypothetical, but what we can actually do with the Teams integration in Tiger is actually go into a specific group call and actually see who attended that call and actually when they joined and for how long. So we can see that uh, on this group call, uh, I joined it just before nine in the morning and then I dropped off that call at about uh, 10 past 10. And then we can see further down here, I actually rejoined the call at about 25 past uh, 10. So it looks like I probably dropped off that call uh, to you know, take a mobile phone call or something like that. So it's really just an example of the, the depth of the integration that we have with Microsoft. Uh, this type of um, this type of analysis just isn't available with Microsoft at the moment. So, you know, if you are an organization who's looking to roll out teams more and more, um, it really is key to have this level of, of analytics to actually understand how it's being used and whether people are actually engaged in the technology. 
Um, I'll just finish off by going into the Office 365 module. So because we're actually integrating directly with the Microsoft Graph API, I've also got that great integration with the Active Directory and we actually understand what communications people are making. It actually enables us to create some really interesting reporting, which sort of goes um, over and above just you know, Microsoft Teams. So what we're actually able to do is analyze the Microsoft licensing, which is really, really interesting. So if I just generate this report, so remember, this is Tiger's real data. So we can see at Tiger, 32 people have a Microsoft um, voice license. So E3 with the, the voice skew on it. So uh, this is you know, not a cheap license, you know, compared to a standard E3 license, it is substantially more to actually give users the capability to make PSTN calls from the Teams client on their laptop. So 32 people have that license at Tiger but we can see that only 23 people have ever picked up the phone and used that license and actually got the value from money from it. And we can see that nine people have, have, never, have never used it. So what that tells me as a business leader is those nine people could potentially do with some additional training to make sure they're, they're comfortable with um, you know, using that, that part of the, the team's um, application or it might be that those nine people simply don't have a requirement for, for this license SKU, and I may have over-provisioned some licensing for them. So what that means is I could potentially scale back that license and save some cost. And you know, when, when you think that you know, for, one, for one user, you could potentially be saving 30 to 40 pounds um, per user by scaling back from a voice license to just a standard E3 or even an E1 or F1 license, um, you know, times that by, uh, you know, a, a, an organization who has 5,000 users, um, you know, you're, you're quickly saving a substantial amount of costs. So, um, you know, that, that's a really valuable part of the integration. And that's something that we're looking to really build on in the future at Tiger. So that's everything I wanted to show today. Um, there is a huge amount in this platform, but hopefully <laughs> that gave you, um, you know, a good idea of, of, you know, what we're able to do. Thank you, Liam. So I was just about to comment, actually, that obviously Tiger Prism's capabilities are vast, as you said, and you've given us today a really high level snapshot of what it's capable of. Um, but the bigger question and the way that we like to work with our customers is really around, you know, uncovering the, the individual challenges that each organization that we're working with faces, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So as you said, this is a very high level look at, at the solution, but what we, we love to do at Tiger is, um, you know, work with our customers to actually understand what they're looking to achieve, what their current challenges are now, and, and really what they're looking to, to do as an organization. And then we will very much tailor um, the solution to, to fit those requirements. So um, recently I've been working with an organization who has a real challenge around um, customers not being able to actually speak to anyone in the organization. Um, one of their top five complaints across the whole company is, is the phone system and they have no idea why this is. So, you know, we're working with that customer to actually give them a, a, a huge amount of information around um, potentially why those calls aren't being connected. So, you know, really depending on, on what your challenges are and what you're looking to achieve, um, it really depends on what part of the system we will focus on. <laughs> 